I'll tell you what's going to happen on November 6th. Obama is going to get Chick fil A himself. That's. He's going to get Chick fil A, and we got a Chick fil A. And folks, pictures continue to come in, and I'm asking myself, where are the, uh, the news media satellite trucks today? Where are all the man on the street news reports of this? I wonder if your local news will cover this tonight at 5 and 11. Amidst all the murders and blood and everything else they cover. Government corruption. Oh, wait, they don't talk about it. Never mind. But I'm just wondering. Where are... I mean, this is a major, major event. Uh, the owner of the largest Wendy's restaurants franchise in the world showed his support for Chick-fil-A with a message on some of the signs at Wendy's in the Carolinas. One sign in Columbia, South Carolina, said a Wendy's sign says, We stand with Chick-fil-A. There's another one. I don't know where it is. I wasn't told where it is. Let's see. Uh, it's, uh, uh, today we recommend Chick-fil-A. Wendy's. I don't know where it is. Didn't say. Uh, but I tell you, it, it's, it is huge, and it's fascinating. It's, as, it's a giant, in a way, a Tea Party rally, and it's not being reported. It's, it's as if a million and a half people showed up on the mall. For a tea party gathering and the media, no, 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 the park service is 10,000 and never showed any pictures of it. Steve in Fort Wayne, Indiana, great to have you on the EIB Network. Hello, sir. Hey, it's great uh, to be on, Rush. Um, and uh, in Fort Wayne, they are covering the, uh, when, uh, the um, uh, Chick-fil-A. The local media. Yeah, the local media is. So that's pretty cool. Well, I'm told that our affiliate in Kansas City, KMBZ, is also doing the same thing yeah, on, on I radio. I think that's great. Hey, I wanted to say something about the badminton. Uh, I was having my breakfast this morning and was was watching it, and they were they were just acting, uh, you know, terribly offended that uh, they used this strategy of uh, you know trying to play easier opponents. Wait, 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 wait. Who who was acting uh, uh, terribly offended? The um the commentators. The commentators on NBC. Yeah. Yeah. And I wanted to know what's the difference between these, what these athletes did with badminton and what the Olympic Federation did to Jordan Weiber, who wasn't allowed to compete, even though she was good, even though she was better than many of those who got to go to the now uh, that's, you know, that's round. It's an interesting thing. That's political correctness. Let me see if I understand this right now. You, you tell me if I have this right. Okay. She was denied the to participate in the all round final, right? Yeah, the individual all round. Individual all round final because each team can only have two members from that team. Exactly. And she is better than ninety nine percent of all the competitors all over the world, but she's third on the U.S. team in terms yeah. of scores. Yeah, and and if you read the rule, it basically is just socialism. It says we want to spread. Uh, uh, we want to spread uh, people being seen on TV and that kind of thing around. And what I find so interesting about the badminton controversy is the only difference is the athletes took it um, in, in their own power. Well, it but they were still... Done from the top, it was done from the grassroots, and that's exactly why people are mad with the Tea Party and crews yeah. and everything today. It's so simple. As you say, they were all they were trying to do was follow the spirit of the rule. Exactly. If, uh, here we have in the Olympics political correctness is all this. It's like the um, the All Star Game in baseball. There is a requirement that everybody play, and a lot of people don't like it because it takes away the competitive advantage. And uh, people that uh, uh, fans who do want to see certain people play have to get pulled out of the game. Baseball, you can't go back in once you've been pulled out. Uh, but that's that's not really competition. The only thing on the line there is uh, who gets home field in the World Series, which is no big deal. The uh, this this is a silly rule. It's it's on par with uh, we first heard about uh, high school teams, junior high school football teams being penalized at the start of a game, a couple touchdowns, if they were that much better than another team. So here are these badminton people look. Uh, we're we're going to play down to the level of our competition. So that we can have an easier time of winning this thing down the road. The rules are the rules, and they simply uh, uh, tried to be politically correct in their own way. That's a good analogy that you have. Hey, thank you very much. Enjoy the show. I appreciate it. Thanks, uh, uh, Steve.